Mexico, Brazil, uh, Chile, Peru are moving up the economic scale so greatly. There's always been this idea that, oh, these electronic products come from Silicon Valley and the United States. And that fear, you have to get over it. You have to realize that you are empowered. There's a lot of money in Mexico. It may not exist yet in a, a, a vibrant venture capital form where it's easily available to entrepreneurs, but that can change. You can talk to people with money. You can convince them of your ideas when they are good. I care so much about Mexico's development. I've spent a long time here. I lived here for four months once. I have seen a lot of change already for the positive. The internet, of course, makes it really more like one world anyway to um, knowing what's going on. It's easy to have, for Apple has actually manufactured computers in Mexico and there's been a lot of technology um, manufacturing and development here already, to some extent of it. I care more about the people, the people coming up and having a role in technology. Only though, I guess I'm only talking about those who are like myself, that grew up as technologists. Whatever your role in life is, arts, um, whatever literature, you should have a place too. But in technology, when I was living here, I ran into a friend, a Mexican, young Mexican high school kid, Arturo Bejar Solar, and Arturo, Arturo Bejar Solar. He was um, he was using an Apple II computer to edit music in a day when it was almost unheard of. He was so advanced. He entered a radio station contest to win a trip to the Nebworth concert in England. And he came in second place. We both listened to it at the Las Benitas restaurant in Cuernavaca. And I felt so strongly that in that age, there was very little in the way of courses in the university for someone advanced in technology in the big university here in Mexico City. And out of my charity, I do a lot of charity for individuals like that. I actually sponsored his college education in London. He wanted to become the best mathematician in the world. He now works as one of the heads of a key software department in Facebook. He's been very successful, and uh, and and I, I just and I'm really so glad that I was able to you know help one or two people here and there. Mexi Mexicans, but um, I always think of it.